she gonna play? No, she's arthritis. How can she have arthritis? My grandmother's arthritis. I don't know. People could be really mean. And like they just say the weirdest things, like, oh, I want arthritis, or oh, my knee hurts, I think I'm getting arthritis. And they just don't understand at all what it's like. If people just understood like what we actually go through, instead of just saying that we get out of PE, that would change things like completely. After school, I came here to the hospital. The infusion is making it so my immune system doesn't attack my joints. An infusion is when they put a needle into my hand to make me feel better and get my medicine. I'd like people to know that it doesn't feel good and it hurts and I really can't do what they really want me to do. I can't play football anymore. And but before I can't like do nothing. Like I had to stay like in my bed. Um it was hard to walk sometimes before. It makes you tired easily. Right when I was diagnosed, I was in a wheelchair. I couldn't get out of bed pretty much every morning. Then it started to get better. I was on a lot of medicines. And then I had two hip replacements just recently within the past three years. I would wake up in the mornings and just could not go to school because I couldn't get out of bed. My hips or my ankles were so swollen or <sighs> two or three days into a family vacation or whatnot, my ankles would start swelling and then I could, be, I was immobile. I couldn't walk around with my family. I have a lot of pain in my hands. My daily life with arthritis, it's hard because in the mornings I'm really stiff and after like a long day of activity, I'm stiff too. And it just, it gets really tiring after a while, so. That's how it affects me. Kids get arthritis too. I have an illness called autoimmune limbic encephalitis. Polyrheumatoid arthritis. Ankylosing spondylitis. I have systemic lupus erythematosus. I was diagnosed with juvenile idiopathic arthritis. My arthritis is ankylosis spondylitis. Vasculitis. The campers here all have rheumatologic conditions. They all have conditions that involve the immune system attacking their bodies. Many of them need to take daily medicines. They often need to take shots. And this is a place where they can come and have all of those things in their camp too. Esperanza provides kids and teens with arthritis the opportunity to have life-changing experiences. Esperanza means hope in Spanish. Hope! And campers leave here with a renewed sense of hope. You feel like you're more secure and that you're able to do it. And it just, it's really fun having other people here who understand what you're going through. It doesn't just have to have been at camp. Kids become more independent, overcome challenges, and receive support and reassurance from their peers. Camp also provides a break for families that may feel overwhelmed caring for a child with arthritis. Camp is really great for us because it gives us the opportunity to relax while Emily is in great hands and very well taken care of. Camp gives me a chance to, to rest and relax and know that my kid is having the time of her life with people who understand what's going on with her. It's a nice break from them knowing that I'm here in a safe place and that they don't need to call me every night and see how I'm doing because they know this is the best I ever feel all year. It's really fun here. We're, there are like kids that have arthritis and stuff. When you meet them, they're like, oh, I have this kind of arthritis. And then you're like, oh, me too, high five. Camp means so much to me. It's so nice knowing that at least one week out of every year, I can come here with people who really understand what you're going through. 
It's nice to know because you're not going to feel like so alone in this world. I love everything about camp. I love being here. It's the best. It is like the most amazing thing, being with kids. You know the counselors that are very understanding, the activities that you wouldn't normally do in your everyday life, horseback riding, um, boating, fishing, arts and crafts, wood shop. It's just amazing and every day is new and exciting. I love chilling out with my boys, playing basketball. Wood shop and arts and crafts is a lot of fun. The energy here is just, it's so like indescribable. It's just, it's so much fun coming to camp. It's like once a year thing that everybody looks forward to. Camp makes me feel just like great, like it's fun out here. It's like the best. My favorite thing is high ropes because I love it. I've made many friends here at camp. They are just some of the most amazing people I know. They are so strong, so brave, and they give a lot of hope and courage to me and help me continue. It feels very comforting and it feels just like a big family. The bonds you form here are I think the greatest part of the experience. Just to have fun and not to worry about like what you have to go through in the past. Always think about the future, you know, and right now camp is our future. One of the beautiful things about camp is that it has become more fun over the years. When I look back 20 some years ago, and we have old photos of the children at at the campsites. And right smack in the middle is a row of children that are sitting in wheelchairs. And that was the experience for them back uh, 20 some years ago. Today, because of the advances of research and the support of many of the donors that we have uh, that have kindly given to such a, a great cause, these children are now mobile. That's an amazing impact over the years. And if we continue to fund and support this great cause that we have, these children will have even a better quality of life in the future. Our camps are provided free of charge to all families. This is possible due to generous donations and sponsors. It costs about $1,000 to send one child to camp. This year, we brought over 200 campers to camp, but there are 42,000 kids with arthritis in the Pacific region. We need to do more, and with your donation, we can. Won't you help us? help them.